been a mysterious and frightening consequence of COVID in some children. Multi-system inflammatory syndrome, or MIS-C for short. Tonight, a new study is shedding light on the potential longer-term impacts of the syndrome. Our Dr. Frank McGeorge is here to explain what researchers have found. Doc? Yeah, Karen and Devin, so researchers at Children's Hospital of Michigan found children who developed MIS-C after a COVID infection are at high risk for suffering a decrease in heart function. That can actually make it difficult for the heart to pump sufficient blood to the body. Now, while Miss C remains rare, it can be very serious. After they get exposure or get COVID-19, then about three to six weeks later, their immune system mounts a very acute, hyper-acute reaction, and that leads to inflammation of multiple organs in the body, including heart. Dr. Gautam Singh leads the study that followed 54 children with Miss C who were admitted to Children's Hospital last year. Researchers found the function of the heart and blood vessels were affected in the majority of the kids, with some needing a life support machine called ECMO to survive. About 20% of the children who appeared to fully recover still showed signs of abnormal heart function on ultrasounds. Further follow-up, we found it that all these 20% children, approximately 20%, they actually fully recovered by the end of six months. So that was very heartening. While most children don't suffer serious complications from COVID, these findings emphasize the need for adults to continue protecting those too young to be vaccinated. We don't know who is vaccinated and who is not vaccinated. So that's a concern. That's why it is important to have more and more people should get vaccinated. Now, Dr. Singh says it's important for children who've had Miss C to be evaluated by a pediatric cardiologist before returning to sports and other physical activities. And researchers will continue to follow the children in the study for the next three to five years. And this does highlight that most children are still at risk for COVID, Doc, and will be for several months. Yeah, you know, distancing and masks are still necessary for children, especially indoors or when they're around a lot of people. And the more people around them who are vaccinated, the safer, of course, they will be. Back to you. Very important to take that into consideration with summer plans. All right. Thanks, Doc.